Welcome to the Thought Emporium. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make these really cool magnetic nanoparticles. Now, these particles can be easily pulled around with a magnet, and they are the basis for a lot of my research. The reason for this is because of this property, you're able to manipulate them in whatever uh, liquid or fluid you want, and by building things onto them, you can accomplish really cool things. So I'm using this for nanorobotics and all kinds of uh, really cool systems that I'll be showing in future videos. This is just one easy example of accomplishing a task. To make them you'll need two ingredients, ferric chloride and some green tea. We're going to be using a hydrothermal method, so to start we're going to have to make just a regular cup of green tea. Here I'm using deionized water in an Erlenmeyer flask, but a jar and tap water will work fine. In this example, I'm using 100 mils of tea and 3 mils of iron chloride, but feel free to play with the concentrations. Then load it into a hydrothermal reactor. I showed and explained both of these in a previous video. And then load it into an oven at 180 degrees and leave it for 10 to 24 hours. When it's done, let it cool, and when you go to open it, if it worked, lots of gas will come out. But be careful and do this slowly. When it's all done, you're left with amazing magnetic nanoparticles. Now, obviously this isn't perfect because green tea isn't an exact compound. So these are some of the other things that I've tried. Um, I've tried citric acid, I've tried tannic acid and ascorbic acid. Uh, I've also tried sucrose, and none of them have worked in the concentrations that I've tried, but I'm getting closer. So if you have suggestions, please leave it in the comments. I got a chance to look at them under the scanning electron microscope, and you can see that some of them really are tiny at 50 or 60 nanometers. Most of them are a little bit bigger than that, but they're still quite small, averaging at about 150 to 400 nanometers. In future videos, I'll be showing how to use these and other paramagnetic materials to make all kinds of interesting nanoparticles. Specifically, I'll be showing how to take the regular dark nanoparticles and coat them in a fluorescent dye so you get colorful, magnetic, glowing nanoparticles. In this case, I have orange and purple. That's all for this video. I hope you've enjoyed. Be sure to subscribe, rate, and comment. And if you're interested in more content, links in the description for my website, Facebook page, and Instagram, where I post extra content fairly frequently. Also, if you're interested in some merch and nanoparticles and other crazy tech, be sure to check out my store, link in the description as well.